Hi, I'm Britta, and this is a Well Britta meal plan mindset tip. Whenever I think about cutting up vegetables, I think about the show I watched one time where the main character was making a soup and they were cutting the vegetables by biting them and then adding them into their recipe or whatever they were making. Is this a thing? Are people doing this? I, I was just like, what? This is weird. And I still think about it, obviously. And it does make me think about why it's so important to know how to cut vegetables because it helps make food tastes better. It might even mean that more people are eating vegetables at your dinner table. So let's talk about what works well in each recipe. A dice of a vegetable means that each of the pieces is coming out uniformly shaped and sized as much as you possibly can. This works great in a salad and a grain bowl. Any recipes like that where you want a little bit of the vegetable in each bite. So then you're getting an even distribution with these uniformly diced vegetables. A sliced vegetable is one of my favorite ways to serve raw vegetables. I slice them up thin. That way, if there's anybody at the table who is a little bit leery about trying something new, they're not making a big commitment with each bite, just trying a little thinly sliced veggie on the side. Chopping is great for soups. You don't have to make them all the same shape. A, a uniform size works really well because then they'll cook at the same t rate, but the shape can be up to you and it can be a little bit of a rougher chop. And then you're going to mince things like garlic, like ginger, where you want it to be really small, where having a big chunk of something is not going to work in a recipe, like adding it to a salad dressing, for example, or sprinkling it onto vegetables before you're going to roast them. You can think about it almost as getting to the size of seasoning so that you can really evenly distribute it into what you're preparing. There's a little 101 on cutting up vegetables. Just stay away from the biting, and I'd say that we're all winning. But give it some time, because becoming a home chef means that you're building your confidence in your knife skills and in how everything in your kitchen works so that you take it with you for the rest of your life and just make more delicious, healthy food.